Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back, heading in the economy section yet again for another L pack. That's right, this is one that Angori Tom just did, and I checked it out. Uh, you know, I do enjoy Angori Tom myself, and it is the Grand Citadel, uh, another light play as creep map. Uh, you may see a lot of saves because I did want to cut out a lot of the waiting. Uh, for the strategy that I'm going for, I did a lot of waiting around early on. Later on, it gets a lot, you know, more adaptive and quicker. But early on, there essentially was just waiting for multiple minutes at a time. Uh, essentially 20. So we're going to start the map, check in at 7 minutes, see what this whole, uh, you know, a 14-minute checkup. And then we have our actual... Uh, main assault cutoff and things like that and you will see what that is you may have also noticed there is a cheese for this map which will drastically reduce our time we're gonna have a pretty pretty fantastic time for this map i think uh but it is quite the cheesy so you know so you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes to, to enjoy some delicious cheese uh so yes uh, a human fortress has been located and they must be wiped out if we are to capture this system we've requested captain tom of the angor system to lead this mission and he has so very many congrats to this map maker um hopefully our request has been granted or else this whole mission may be a failure this signature air sacs have been deployed though the pesky humans have neutralized their effectiveness uh, before we could begin the mission. Regain control of your assets and launch the Grand Assault. Help us, Tom of the Angor System. You are our only hope. Stomp these humans out and bring us one step closer to our ultimate goal. Total Human Annihilation. And this is the map of Total Human Annihilation. As you can see, the lasers are already kicking off. Gotta love them lasers. I, mean, I, I do like it. Lasers. Lasers? Uh, you know, uh, beams of creeper destruction and there are quite a few of them in there and this is our start we have very limited resources we start in this corner with a zero zero emitter so essentially nothing but we do have two upgrades so it's going to be a 40 and if we just get going that's our start we have two eggs two rocks and we're just on the wait mode now for the plan uh we are planning to cut them off one thing about this map that is fantastic, I do love it thoroughly, 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 is that they don't rebuild things. So while it is very difficult, we, we have some things that we can do and things that we want to sort of address, let's say. Now, that being said, uh, as I was doing this, I've come up with, you know, more optimal ways to do it. But, you know, I I'm happy with how things turned out. Let's take a look at seven minutes in. This is a, this is a very important time for us seven minutes in. So let's see. Let's see exactly what happens at the seven minute mark. This is this is where the first grand plan hits at seven minutes for me. You could do it probably a little bit earlier uh, if you are going to do this route. Um, but for me, it was seven minutes. Um, and I have, again, uh, a dre you know thought of better things to do. Um, so as you can see, seven minutes in, we've just put all of our uh, upgrades that we've gotten, we even have one more apparently, uh, into this emitter. It's now at 360, so from babby to uh, pretty strong. But as you can see, it's still pretty hemmed in. I mean, really, 360, if things are close to it, it will push through. But since it's spreading out so much, it really can't take out all of the towers. So that is a little bit of a shame. We have five eggs to our name. That seems like a little too few, uh, but you know, sometimes sometimes you have to you have to plan your eggs out. Now, one thing to note is if I were to say drop an egg right here, something interesting might just happen. And there we go, the egg is down. You know, let's just let's just pop it naturally, right? Pop all eggs. There we go. Oh, and now we have our first assault into the grand capital. Here we go. We're taking out some of their miners. That is glorious. You gotta you gotta love mine destruction. But the real goal here is the factory. Our goal is to take out the factory, eliminate the shields. That is everything that we truly want. Now, with hindsight, I would also like to destroy these towers over here. Uh, in the next save, they will be there, unfortunately. So in hindsight, I may put another egg right there for this assault. Uh, that's just uh, something planning for the future, as you may say. So now the goal is literally we are going to destroy this factory. I'll increase the speed a little bit. We can hear plenty of destruction. The big key is we don't want this factory to uh, survive. So we do have to sort of monitor it. Oh, I meant an extra egg there, but that's quite okay. Uh, quite okay indeed. And it looks like the... Oh, ah, there we go. Didn't even need that extra one. 
but look at the destruction. I mean, we destroyed most, if not all, of the miners down here. There's just a couple left, like, there and there. Uh, up top, it's going great as well. I mean, the miners are being destroyed. Uh, actually, this one lucked out, and it did destroy this. Oh, wait, no, I did put the egg over there. So, yeah, that, that is perfect. That is exactly what I would like to have done with hindsight. So, unfortunately, we don't have... The, the next save won't happen. That's okay. We, we will address it then. Um, well, actually, not the next save. Probably the save after that. But this is, this is our initial setup. And one thing that's also nice is there's an M-Rift over here. And this was just enough to eke into this M-Rift. Look at that. It's, it's, just, it's just barely, barely getting there. And bazinga. We even got the M-Rift in that top right corner, which is, which is kind of nice, you know? Just... just Stop some end rifting over here, which is always always a very good thing. And as we can see, no more factory. We should start to see some things starting to blink on and off. Let's let's just see. Uh, it should be pretty good. I'll turn the times four. That might help a little bit. There we go. Look at that. We now have no more shields on the battlefields. That is right. So what's our next goal? Well, we're just we're just going deep into enemy territory at this point. Uh, our goal is to uh, free this emitter, and this is where we're going to use, uh, be having a staging ground, if you will. This will be our assault point for the rest of the map, for the most part. Um, so that is the goal. So we will free this with eggs because uh, we just destroyed all the towers that would destroy our creep. So eggs should be able to get the job done, get these nullifiers out of here, and here we go, Bazinga! We now have a freed emitter. Ooh, it's so very, very nice. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Uh, one other thing to note is, again, they don't rebuild, so taking out, say, this tower right here means this won't reload, and these won't reload as well. It's very, it will be very important to get these down, because, you know, they're, they're just gonna pelt us for a long time. So I think, uh, you know, once we have the eggs, I'm not a I can't 100% remember if I did this at this stage or at the next save might have been at the next stage, which, you know, is a slight mistake on my part. Uh, but that's okay, you know? We're, we're allowed. Uh, we will do this, and here we go. It should be three eggs to get there, and then a fourth to uh, guarantee the kill. Uh, we'll, we'll save up five, because just in case something goes wrong, you know? Uh, better safe than sorry. But three to four eggs, uh, usually... But uh, three eggs to destroy a tower is plenty. Usually it takes about two. So, and if we're really lucky... Uh, one, but I don't think we're going to get lucky with all of these things around. I'm, I'm, I'm content with two at this point. Uh, it should be just another sec... Oh, I didn't realize I was off of times two speed. I apologize. Um, so there we go. Uh, we did get our other egg. So if we drop this... Oh, do I want, we're going to wait for one, one. Or just until it's about to hit. It hits every 15 seconds, which is nice. A very nice egg timer on this map. Uh, so I am a big fan of that. So let's uh, just drop this down. Bazinga, bazanga. And there we go. Now we have this. As you can see, that's starting to come up. The uh, destruction is happening. And our goal is just destroy. Ooh. Oh, see? I didn't... I messed it up. That is... Uh, I put it down too late. So, that is that is a thing that happens. Uh, fortunately or unfortunately, the, this next save does not have this error in place. So, that was my fault. I was, uh, I was talking to not, not placing down my eggs properly. Now, if this is full health, we'll definitely need, again, two or three. It is not full health. So we might be able to sneak this in uh, with one more egg. So once we get that in... I'll just try one more. Worst case scenario, we're just going to move to the next save. And then we'll see where this goes. Yeah, that's, that's not going to be able to do it. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Uh, the other thing to note is what I should do as well, if you are planning on, say, sniping this, is just pop the first two, let the airship fire down here, and then pop the third while it's in the air. That is just something to note. But let's actually just take a look at the 14-minute mark. Uh, breaking free was uh, something that I was planning on doing, but decided to postpone to the cutoff. So we will see what happens then. So here we go. We are now in the actual, actual 14-minute one. Um, so we've freed our emitter. Essentially, all we've done is destroy this tower. Okay, so this was destroyed, as we can see. Uh, and you can see they have no power. We have 20 eggs to our name. We have only been buffing this emitter, and uh, we continue to do so. Uh, and this is just sort of a staging ground. This is just to see, as you can see, even with what we did, we've been buffing this. It's It's gotten some of the miners, which is grand. It's uh, This has 
stabilized over here with uh, the shielding gone, but it's stable. It's not going to move any further than this. Even if we got it a couple upgrades, it wouldn't really move from here. So this is sort of our, you know, it's a nice place to be. It's not perfect, uh, but we still have to wait. We still have to wait for the grand plan, right? I mean, it's all about it's all about devising your plans and then acting on them accordingly. So let's let's keep our plan going and actually enact it, right? So we're still doing pretty good. We have 21 eggs. We have 13 rocks. Uh, I do start using rocks on these mortars down here uh, just to start to allow this to sort of flow down. Uh, flowing down is always a good thing. More land for us. But let's see the final result of the grand plan. And again, we will get to the cheese after the actual map. So grand plan time now how many eggs do we have left i don't recall uh i think it should be a fair bit should be a fair bit it's been it's been a couple of minutes we have 12 eggs okay we're at 12 eggs and as you can see this emitter uh is pushing into here i haven't destroyed everything but it, it, it's it's taking its time but it, it's doing what it needs to do right now so this is coming in we have 12 eggs to our name and we have two eggs to place uh two very important eggs to place uh one egg is going up here so now this egg right up here is just placed to pop this egg chain and this egg chain the entire goal is just this emerald that's all we care about we get this emerald egg chain complete now the other one is going right here to pop this egg chain now this egg chain is, uh, we'll see what happens i'm not going to go over the entire thing but we will see what happens and let's uh, let's just pop it out Let's just see what happens. Here we go. We'll look at it go. As you can see, the eggs go into the emerald on the left. And we have a lovely, glorious shape being made. And I even need to... See, this is where, if I had popped this area earlier, this uh, wouldn't have to happen. So that's essentially three eggs I could have saved to pop these. So, but as we can see, we are now just making an entire wall around this. And this works because this emerald is gone. This emerald will be gone. And now this will be cut off here entirely. So let's just let's just keep it going, see what happens. Uh, as you can see, this wasn't destroyed, so we do have to play a little. Let's monitor, make sure everything we want to die dies. Uh, as you can see, like down here, that wouldn't die. But now I think I think we're good here. Looks like we're pretty good. Looks like we're pretty good here. This right here didn't die. We definitely want that puppy dead. And then as we go around and around. Anything else standing out? This area might be a little dangerous, like right there. That one is not dying, so we definitely need to get that. And we definitely need to get this one. So let's grab them. And it looks like this one didn't die either. And actually, we, I probably should have ran it through here. So definitely better placement if I ran it through here, just, just, just better. But that's okay, that's okay. Uh, we're still doing pretty good. That has completed. It looks like all of these have successfully done their mission. It looks like we have a mission complete over here, mission complete over here, and Bazinga. What did we just do? Look at this. Look at everything that is now completely shut off. We've just shut off the entire back half of the map. All of their mineable terrain, minus these five miners, <laughs> everything is now just shut off. This uh, no longer gets power. We don't even have to destroy its pylon. Just gone. In an instant, everything indeed has been shut off. And this is this was uh, the first goal, right? Uh, we have shut it off, and this is now free to start flowing as it will. You know, it can start coming down here, start using up all the power over here. It will slowly take everything. And as you can see, they're down to 89 generation, which is huge, right? They're still generating enough, don't get me wrong. They are still generating enough, but not nearly as much as they once were. So, our next goal is to free our friendly skimmers. Uh, these will start to stun these enemies around here, allowing this to progress down. The further this progresses, the better it is for us, because that's literally just uh, just victory, uh, the further that goes. So, I do want to get these nullifiers out of the way. This emerald as well, ideally. Uh, two nullifiers down. Is that the... Ah, uh, looks like we got it all. So, here we go. We did just free our skimmers, and we are going to upgrade this essentially to max the goal is to upgrade this uh, at least to the 22nd mark at a minimum and probably beyond that the only upgrades that i'm going to do outside no more emitter upgrades for the rest of the map uh, we are going to do skimmer factories and we're going to do blobs now blobs will be in a little bit uh, we, we're not going to free them for a little while uh, i do hate to say um, but we will we will get to them they will be free 
and they will blob up the world. The other upgrade we will do is one in air sacs, not more than one. I just want to be, have that spawn two air sacs at once instead of uh, instead of one. Uh, and the reason for that is because air sacs can take a bunch of punishment. So once we're at the point where we're able to drain these big boys of ammo, then that's just going to be the goal. Just drain them up. Uh, let's let's turn up the speed. I'll, I'll have it times two so it's not like freeze frame or anything. But there we go. So that is the plan. So we will free the air sacs as well because we do need to get rid of this M rift over here. So freeing the air sacs is essentially free. Uh, plus, you know, they're kind of fun to see. So let's let's do that now. Let's let's just free them up. Pop all of our eggs. Buzzinga. It may take two. It may take three. But it's mostly cannons. So kind of hoping it only takes two. Uh, there we go, did only take two. Our air sacs are now free, summoning two at once because we did put the one upgrade in there. And they're just gonna, they're just gonna have fun, you know. Uh, these missiles uh, will fire on them, but there's no factory. And no factory means that can no longer fire. So they're kind of free roaming down here. The snipers will shoot their little orbs. Uh, you know, it'll be a thing. It's not the end of the world. Uh, you know, it just, it just sort of is what it is. Uh, and the rest of our upgrades, again, are going into Skimmer Factory. Again, as you can see, every time we upgrade it, it goes down by 3 seconds to 20 seconds. So in three more upgrades, it will be at 20 seconds at uh, per, per cycle. And there's six snipers here, which is, which is a fair bit of snipers. Um, they're really, really hating on them. Uh, so there's six snipers here, so once we get to past six, our skimmers will start to... Oh, look at that. I mean, look at that skimmer there. It it might be backline, but every little bit does help, because if one of these mortars were, say, shooting into, uh, into other things, right? Plus, if they stay skimmed for the next cycle, more skimmers get out. It's, it's, just, a, it's just a very, very refreshing thing to see when skimmers uh, come out pretty well. Now, rocks, not super important, uh, basically for the rest of the map. Uh, they're nice. We can actually use that to sort of break out of here. That might be useful. Eggs are the most important. Uh, eggs are basically life right now. So we definitely do want our eggs. And I think we're just going to gonna take out a couple of these. Because we, if our creep can actually get in here to the skimmed area, then I think we're, we're just golden at that point. So there we go. We're down to 20 seconds at 7 you know, not too bad, not too bad. And last but not least is an Emrift down here. So we do have an Emrift down here as well. I don't care about freeing this. Freeing this is not important in the slightest. Uh, the only thing I actually care about is the Emrift itself. So, oh, I dropped a second egg bags, and that was that was poor, poor, poor. Uh, but we have taken out the Emrift down here. So now there's no Emrift except for right here and for over here right now in this entire half of the map now there's what one two three four five six oh no uh, yeah five there's five here and two here so we still have we still have a few we still have a few other than these two so we have seven emrifs remaining that's essentially our target if we can take out seven emrifs then all that's left is connecting to the base. It all would have to come from the base at that point, which is which is pretty exciting, if you ask me. Now, of course, in order... Oh, look, see, look at what the skimmers did. You know, they just skimmed them all, the creep is actually flowing out, and now we have some uh, forward traction on the side. So it feels, feels pretty good, if you ask me. And I think the next thing on our list is to grab this next emerald, right? Uh, this one is just a thorn in the side, of course. Uh, plus, it allows uh, it might turn turn some heads. So let's uh, let's just get this MRF down, get it completed, and buzzing it. No more MRF. As you can see, all of the connections are starting to come down from the top, hitting the uh, pylon structures, of course, or s network, if you will. And yeah, so now we've we've essentially gotten to a much better place. Again, our skimmers are doing great. Uh, I think I'm gonna get them to like. 15, and then I'm just going to put the rest in the blobs. I think that's going to be the goal. Uh, up north here, you can see, look, we've just, we've taken out this. We're actually working into them a quite a little bit, and that is going to be very important for later. Not quite right now, but for later. We will need this creep up here. That is going to be very, very important. And yeah, we're just, uh, we're just taking our time, enjoying what we got. 
And again, getting this to 15. That's, I think 15 is just, just... It's a good number. It's a good number. Uh, not my favorite. Thing. Not my favorite. Uh, but yes, uh, as we can see, they're also doing pretty okay for a generation, right? We, we're not really threatening them in terms of generation. That is unfortunate for us. Uh, we do want to be threatening them, of course. Uh, but hey, our next goal will be five emrifts. That's right, five. A full, a full five. Uh, not, not like a half C five. A full five. So we're gonna need at least two eggs per. But I think we have about two eggs per, so I'm pretty okay. And we might need some interstitials to make sure they all pop. That's the big key. So we're gonna need about two eggs per plus interstitials. So let's uh, let's see. I think I think we should probably even have enough for this. Uh, so let's let's toss it down to times one speed and see what we can do. So we have an egg here for this emrift, an egg here for this emrift, egg there for that emrift, that emrift, and that emrift. I'm gonna toss one here, and one egg is there, and we have 12 le eggs left over. I think. So let's just see, do we get to every Amrift? We do. So now our goal is to make sure every single one does die. That is the goal. And looks like they have completely destroyed the center, so we want to make sure that's still going. This got destroyed, so we want to make sure that's like pretty good. Uh, looks like they saved the top up there. Again, it's all about just taking care of the Amrifts. And we need you. We need you. And I think... Looking at the things, Emrif dead, Emrif dead, Emrif alive, Emrif dead. There we go. Emrif destroyed. Emrif destroyed. So all five of these are now destroyed. So now all power is coming from two more Emrif. So th these two are now funneling down and over and across the entire map. It is actually impressive. I would think that being so far away, these would run out of ammo, but they, they're not. You know, I mean, because it, it's going from pylons to non-pylons and things. Um, it, it is... Uh... Oh, wait, no. There's the MRF down here. Oh, jeez. What am I thinking? I, I completely forgot that I didn't destroy this one. We need to get rid of this MRF as well, of course. So let's, uh, let's make sure that one gets handled. And that should, uh, should help us... Oh, jeez. What am I thinking? What am I doing? Uh, let's destroy this. I wasted an, an extra egg uh, in order to chain it back, but that's okay. I don't want to waste an extra egg, please. Um, there we go. And that should get the emrift. Please. There we go. So now all the emrifts are gone. All power should be coming from the top down. As you can see, now the connection points are coming down. You can see them chaining. So now hopefully... Maybe the creep can start coming into this. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, but, you know, I'm not super worried about that right now. Uh, we got our count to 15. Huzzah for us. We're now up to our 15 skimmers. And we're at 27 minutes. So we're not quite fully assaulting the base at 30 minutes yet. We still have some time, though. And that's the key. We still have some time. Uh, and I'm thinking about 29 minutes is when we officially strike. It's not going to take the base. I do apologize. Um, we could, you know, work on that. But our goal is, right now, we're, we're quote-unquote playing with our food. And uh, honestly, for this map, this is quite a long map. Uh, I think the average time is around an hour. So uh, being at this point within a half an hour, I feel pretty confident. feel pretty good. And we still have seven eggs. Now, that being said... We do have some problems, right? Seven eggs, is that going to be enough? So what is our goal right now? As you can see, we have this little circle right here. This circle, we want to complete the circle. And we want to eliminate the emrifts. So our goal, say we, we plop one bad boy down there, right there, right? This, we're probably going to need at least one more to get the emrifts. But we'll start with that. And then if we were, say, pop one next to every single one of these towers... Uh, and you know what? That'll, that'll explode pretty good. Just like this. And we'll even go for that tower and pylon combo. And we have to go over here. So this is where, when we were cutting off earlier, if I had cut off like I did over here and came in like this, or even came in like this, this would have helped substantially because then we wouldn't have to have these two eggs and just do these. So again, another little optimization with this uh, specific strategy. 
Um, now, that being said, we only have one egg in reserve, and we don't want to do this with only one egg in reserve. We want as many as possible. So, we are gonna, we are gonna take our time, get our eggs going. Hopefully, uh, I'll turn, turn it back up to two times speed, because we're not actually doing it. And, uh, yeah. Up here, as you can see, this bad boy, he's firing away, but his ammo is soon to run out. Uh, it's at two pips. Two bullets, two reserves, two barrels, two something or other. I don't know. Two things. Uh, and that is kind of the goal there. Now we can start rocking things if we want. Uh, we can do whatever. I, it would be nice to get rid of this mortar, because then it would kind of spread in a little bit. So that mortar is, you know, making us use another egg or two. It happens. It's not the end of the world. Uh, but we're almost to the point. Maybe, all right, 30 seconds into 29. 30 seconds in. That's the goal. 30 seconds in. So we have another 30 seconds, and then we are going to try our final cutoff. That is, fingers crossed, uh, we'll have enough eggs. I, I don't know. I, this may fail, and I would be very, very sad. <laughs> but, you know, you, it, you got to try sometimes. So we're going to toss down one of these eggs, like right there, I think. That should spread and pop that, which will be amazing. Uh, plus, it'll be in range of that mortar, which is also quite nice. Uh, so hopefully this does go. We are basically there. I'm going to put that down in case the creep does just set it off naturally. Because uh, the creep should come in, and I'm hoping we'll set it off. May not. Hmm. I was hoping like that right there, like that sets it off, but it doesn't. So we do have to go back a little bit further. So let's go to like there and see. Now will that... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we have our cutoff line and our M-Rift zone. And this is the most important part, is keeping the M-Rift zone under control. Uh, as you can see, we're doing pretty good. Actually, we didn't need that many extra eggs. We could have done this a little bit earlier. Uh, are you... You're dead. You are not. So, double m down. Okay, okay, okay. How are we looking? How are we looking? think we're looking pretty good. Ooh, this pylon is going to cause us some problems. I didn't realize that pylon could reach. That pylon is dead. And Bazinga. That is the entirety of the map. Taken at exactly 30 minutes. So technically speaking, we are starting our assault on the final fortress at the 30 minute mark. I'm, I'm counting that as uh, officially assaulting because we shut off everything but the main area within 30 minutes. That, I think, I, I think that's successful. You know, you can tell me what you think. Maybe it isn't. Maybe, maybe I'm just, you know, trying to talk myself up a little bit. But I, I think, I, I count that as a win. Um, and now we are under uh, the main assault. Now, the reason I am doing blobs versus skimmers, oh, skimmers are at 16. Uh, blobs come out twice as slow, uh, but we get two per, so it's essentially the same. But I believe, believe, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, wait, no, I think I had a discussion. Because I, I thought blobs took extra hits. Maybe I was wrong with that. I still kind of feel like I'm on Bill Um I, It just feels like blobs can take more hits. And I want them to take more hits because I want this to run out of ammo. Which is also why I wanted the uh, air sacs. Air sacs, they're mostly here just to drain ammo of, like, these bad boys over there. Because, you know, if it fires one nuke at creep, but it takes eight shots or the entire sniper trail of an air sac, that's a, that's a lot more ammo that it has to go through. So the map is deteriorating. We are taking over the world. Upgrades are free to use on whatever we want. And you know, just for the sake of it, launcher, you can have it. You get you get to. Um, this emitter, though, you're staying at zero. Bad emitter. That's just bad emitter. Shame on you. Shame on you. Um, but our air sacs, they're going to stay at two. And we're just going to grab some more blobs. Plus, blobs as well for the final assault can go within the AC. So very, very important there as well. So, I mean, not super important, it just, just kind of is what it is. But the entire wall falls, everything is collapsing and crumbling around, and yeah, you can just see the creep is just taking over. So now our big issue are these big mortars. They are generating 11 power, a whole whopping 11. And, you know, they're not going to run out of power anytime soon, because they're not really powering anything. <laughs> That's the problem. Uh, we're not necessarily close enough to really be destroying things. But we are advancing. 
So, oh, look, the spores fire. They did it. Huzzah to the spores. Um, there we go. More blabos. We're up to 18 there. And, yeah, you know, feels feels pretty good. How are you doing, sir? How are you doing for ammo? You're down to two pips as well now. Oh, it's a shame. But this one, this one's still very healthy. Uh, thankfully, our skimmers are skimming things without ammo. I mean, it's all they can do, really, at this point. Uh, if they can reach something, chances are it's out of ammo for now, unless they come up here. So, but yeah, we're, we're just slowly taking everything. It is impressive that these guys are shooting as well, but, you know, they're, they're only firing so rarely thanks to these super mortars that, uh, yeah, they're, they're, just, they're just living the dream right now. Uh, I think, I mean, we can take out the super mortars, right? This old, yeah, bazinga. Uh, so now the problem is, I want to destroy this with just a rock, but the problem is that these will take priority. And can we get a rock? Uh, no, no. I mean, we could just, like, really disrupt them or something. Yeah, let's just do one egg. See if that disrupts them enough. Uh, not... Yeah, it did. One egg is all we needed. Get out of here, Super Mortar. That's all I care about. Uh, the rock target is down there again. Ugh. Oop. I think there's a spot. There's a spot. Super Mortar down. So we're just trying to clear up these Super Mortars. It'll allow the creep to really flow in. And, yeah, you can see, I mean, just for the sake of cleanup, we'll just clean that up nice and nice. Make it nice and pretty for us. And, yeah, even that's starting to get into the firing range, which is actually pretty exciting as well. So another Super Mortar down. So, yeah, we're just, we're just slowly dismantling everything that they have. Uh, I do find it funny that there's just that little patch of crimson right there. Just out of the entire map, just just a just a tiny bit right there. That's all you get. Uh, it is a little bit of a shame. Um, but as you can hear, when the when the skimmers come, you know you hear all the snipers. That's coming from these bad boys. That's eaten up their ammo. This is already down to one pip. It started. It was basically full not long ago. But because we're sending so many blobs, so many uh, skimmers. Uh, yeah, they're, they have to go through their energy pretty quick. And I, I should be using my upgrades way more often. What am I doing? Uh, times two speed. It's lovely, lovely, lovely. And, yeah, we're, we're just going to take over this map. Now this back, this one back, or this one in the back, is is making its progress. You know, starting to use this one's ammo as well. So this will this will finish flowing around. doesn't really matter. It's just, it's just nice knowing that you've uh, thoroughly dismantled everything you wanted to. Now again, unfortunately, we are unable to get the rock target we desire. Um, but look, we're starting to close in, and they're getting into a deficit because we're closing in on all sides, which is amazing. Holy moly, again, that is exactly what we want to see. And I'm going to try and destroy those four with one singular egg yet again. Uh, because our eggs are much stronger. And but Super Mortar, down. Did not want that in my life. Uh, ooh, that one's actually getting power, too. Look at that one's... Big, sometimes it's it's the ones you don't expect. Uh, I do love these snipers too. They are going to eat up ammo, so they will keep the deficit high, which will drain the ammo of the central reserve, of course. Uh, but there really isn't much fight that they can do left. It's just a matter of keeping the blobs going. We're up to 40. As you can see, they are able to take out all of the skimmers. They don't even get to skim anything. It's very big shame. Let's see how the blobs do, because I think we just did a blob wave. We'll even transparent the creep for this. Here come the blobs. Now, the problem with the blobs, there's a lot going over here. We need this area kind of taken care of in order for our blobs to start being effective, right? So our blobs, eh. But look at that. A blob instantly made. And that was with half of the blobs going over here. So our blobs are super ready to get in there, get good, and ooh, that's a, that's a juicy set, too. So as we take out the rest, uh, we can start to do things. Eggs, you know, I'm saving my eggs for this. Essentially, my goal with eggs is just to do this. I'm, I just want to put them in the base, just like this, and I want to drain all the AC. I don't want to destroy the base. We could destroy it this way. Uh, but I, I just want to get rid of those things. And now my rocks can go in the base. Nice rocks, destroying most of their mortars and things in their base. 
Oh my, oh my. Oh, it feels so good just seeing the utter destruction. The main uh, ship out of ammo. It is still getting enough to shoot now and then, but it is, it is not happy. This side being completely dismantled as well. Uh, five upgrades that I should be taking or utilizing. Get us ten more blobs. Why not? We can see the blob boys are starting to focus more over here a little bit, which is more than that. And yeah, let's let's see if Ooh, yeah, okay. <laughs> they completely destroyed that. Uh, but I think that was basically all of the ammo in these units. So they they just rocketed one, and that is all they can do. So the blobs now should totally focus on this area. The skimmers doing the most. And yeah, this is uh, this is the end game. This is it. No ammo even down here. Nothing left. Oh, the blobs have done it. They did take out the base. And yeah, that has been the standard way that I am doing this. Now, I guess it's time. I guess it's time for some cheese, right? You, you want to see something? I did it in just over 40 minutes. I mean, let's let's see how I did on the time. I'm not sure. I think that might be pretty decent. Like I said, around well, an hour plus for the average. So I'll, I'll submit this. Um, so, yeah, there's like a 55, a 50, ooh, a 33. So definitely quite good there. So 43. Uh, so it looks like that 33 is the one to beat uh, in terms of time. And, and we will with cheese. It's going to be it's gonna be cheesy. Uh, ooh, a 31 even. There we go. Look at that. Somerset, you've done great. But, uh, you know... I think we're going for some, uh, maybe some Swiss today. Uh, let's check out our, che our cheese serve, uh, and let's do that. Let's see, where are we in terms of time? Uh, I think we're around 15 minutes, maybe 17 minutes, something like that. So, mm, momentarily. <laughs> this map does take a little while, Lord. I do apologize for that. So this is our cheese save. We are 15 minutes into the map, and all we have done is put points into our emitter. Again, I have another point to do, because I saved it literally at the 15-minute mark. Uh, and this is all we have done. And this is how far our emitter can go if you literally just do this and nothing else. We have 34 eggs to our name. And, yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Now, you may notice there, there are some eggs here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Plenty of eggs, and there is a base here. Holy moly. And, look, there's a lot of eggs in there. Now, the problem with this map right now is we did not destroy the factory. So these sprayers are set to always on, so they will always be spraying. Whereas in the other one, they stopped because we destroyed the factory. So AC will constantly be going up. But one thing we do have the power of doing super cheesily is disabling AC blocking. So if we do that, we can see now the, now the, the AC must flow. And it's going to flow for pretty slowly for a little bit. So this is our setup. We are going to let the AC flow. I'm gonna I'm gonna load the official uh, cheese release as it were, and we'll see what the difference is. So this is letting the AC flow out and seeing what the effect of that is. So the effect of that is a base where there's still a lot of AC on the map, but not necessarily at the base itself, and that is the key. So as we can see, it's been flowing for about a minute and 20 seconds now, and look at that ring it's all it's delicious you know nice uh, nice foam party going on uh but unfortunately the main dance floor has been left behind and you can see i've placed again i've spread out my eggs so they don't touch and bounce around i also have an egg next to every pylon now these pylons are the most important things to get rid of and i will show you why it's not because it's going to cut off the map uh it's because of something else uh so here we go we are going to drop an egg right there that's all we need to do. And say go. So bazinga, bazanga. And even though there's this much AC, all it takes is just a brief second and the next egg does pop. And there's the real party. It's going on. And the reason I want them next to the pylons is pylons die first. They're, they generally are the quickest thing to die. So let's see. Buzzing, we are getting our monstrous explosions, and all pylons are destroyed. And our goal now is to use rocks to destroy all of the towers on the edge. I don't want to destroy anything inside, because the creep will destroy that. But everything on all of the cannons on the edge are very important rock targets, because those can shoot it, and I, I, I don't want them shooting it. So we're doing all of them. 
we've destroyed quite a bit, and we still have 40 eggs remaining. So this can be done pro maybe even earlier, but we're going to toss down another wave of, of egg explosions because, yeah, they've, uh, they've done uh, their first part, but, you know, we don't want our creepiness to, uh, to fail here. And maybe they can't even shoot it. I don't even know. That's a, that just might not be a thing. Uh, I thought they could. And if they can, well then, can I get rid of Super Mortar down there? Yes, I can. And I'll get rid of Super Mortar down there. Let's just do that. Uh, although we need more creep. We need more creep. That is the biggest problem. Is we This initial part, there's still a lot of AC. All of the sprayers had max AC inside of them. So we definitely need that. So we're doing pretty good. Uh, feeling pretty good. And now we can actually get rid of these Super Mortars. So Super Mortar, Super Mortar. Uh, I guess we'll get rid of you and Super Mortar. Bazinga. So we've just gotten rid of three of the Super Mortars shooting in, which is which is convenient for us. Uh, Super Mortars are targeted after cannons, so the cannons would have been destroyed anyway. I thought they could shoot in. It doesn't look like it, so that was my fault there. Um, and yeah, this is this is our setup. We are literally in their base, destroying their things with loads and loads of eggs remaining. We are at just almost 17 minutes now and as you can see their base is falling and falling and now we do have to make sure that we don't let all of the creep fail but because we got rid of the super mortars down here i'm feeling actually pretty confident that nothing will so we could have uh, probably focused on one side maybe killed three or four uh two or maybe two more super mortars probably would have been a better uh, way to do it but you know what their base Oh, their base is down to three pips of health. We're just hitting 17 minutes. I think, I think it might be over. Uh, ooh, do not let the creep fall, though. Do not. Ooh, uh, plenty of eggs. No reason to spare the eggs. Holy moly. And there we go. The AC is flowing back as well, so we do have to be careful, which is why I didn't want to wait too long, because it hits the wall and flows back and things. So we do have to be a little quick. And there we go, 17 minutes. And just about 10 seconds, maybe 11, whatever it was recorded as. Uh, but there we go. So we have the, you know, the game plan that I originally set up and super cheese mode. I'll even, I'll even do that one for this one, because that was, that was a, some tasty cheese. And I, I like seeing a map with so many plays and seeing you know, oh, i found the super cheese yay <laughs> it tastes delicious um i hope you enjoyed uh please leave a like a comment subscribe all that good stuff and yeah i will catch you next time have a wonderful day take care